Welcome back to Let's Play Guild Wars 2. I like it. Bank access. Where should I be going? Oh, I was trying to get the Vista, wasn't I? Right? Maybe. I don't know. This looks like the way to go. This also looks very poorly built. Whoever the carpenter was on this job needs to be fired. There we go. Look at that. Look at me go. I just can't be stopped. Okay. One of ten. Mastery point below. that no it's that researcher Riza another proud moment unstable magic nodes those look like bombs. The hell are unstable magic nodes? One in the quicksand behind- oh. Ah, is that one? Hang on. Skimmer. Skim. Unstable magic nodes. So I'm looking for green dots. Hmm. Prophet's path. Why am I running so slowly? I'm not a fan of me running slowly. There we go. When we get moving again, how can we avoid the forge? We'll have to head east. Hopefully we're far enough north to avoid the awakening. But at least the forge left us alive. Are you sure risking a run-in with the awakened is better? I honestly don't know. But if nothing else, Augury Rock should offer better cover than open desert. Besides, we'll have to head through Destiny's Gorge anyway to get to Amnoon. I'm searching for a lost city called Kesho. What do you know? Please about? tell me you know about it. Kesho. Where have I heard that name before? It's the lost city. Whatever happened to that adventurer we ran into last year? Yeah. For some kind of lost city? Oh, that's right. That was the fellow. He swore up and down he found a legendary lost city. And he asked us to join his search for a cut of the treasure. What happened to him? Where did he go? See the fissure to the north? He ventured into the caves beneath it. And that was the last we saw of him. Did anyone Control go with him? <laughs> There's so many branded in the area. We know better than that. Shame the adventurer didn't. Find the fissure that leads to the entrance. Entrance. Entrance to Kesho. A fissure. Boy, that was difficult. Search the caverns for the entrance to Kesho. Oh boy. Mastery point. Hang on. Get up here. Okay. Oh, it's down? Hold on. Over here. Aha. Exalted artifacts. Activate the pylons. Why is this one not activated? So you turn that one on. Ah, is this a case of... If I turn this one on... Those two turn off. That one off, those two turn on. Turn this off. 
It's only four of them, so theoretically it shouldn't be that hard. Turn that one on. Turn this one on. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, theoretically, I shouldn't overthink this. This is where it all began. Nice. Mastery point. Oh, God, don't, don't jump in the quicksand. Search the caverns for the entrance to catch up. Forgotten statues. And they seem to be guarding that pit. Could this be the place? No, oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, God. I jumped into a deep pit. Good job. Wherever you are must be on a ley line nexus. Listen, I found something. A lost city called... What's going on? I don't it's know if you hear that. So I could use your help finding my way around. Buried city? Really? Ron, I wish I was there. Describe what you see. Everything. In detail. There's sand drifts and debris... What the hell is that? Although I guess it kind of fits the mood. It sounds like something shifting. With Loudly. Sentries floating on them. What actually is that? And for the record, it's 10.30 at night, as you can see. wind. Alright then. Well, I guess that solves that mystery, yeah. Okay. Scour Kesho for information. I don't know if you can hear that, but... Can I talk to these people? Something about this exalted. It's moving, so it's alive. But it's not responding to my presence. Hmm. Wait, not responding? Poke it with something. No, no, wait. Don't. That's poor research etiquette. Well, maybe just a light poke? Ugh, I wanna be there. Kinda wish kinda wish timing was. Feels weird kinda looking around a place like this without her. Come here, skimmer. Got some waterfalls here. Sand falls. Falling sand and a camp. Found a glowing crystal. And a dead body. Pick it up. The crystal, not the body. If it's glowing, it may be a power source. There should be a control panel nearby. Restore power to Kesho. But where? Here? Maybe at the entrance? Or the pedestal? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, the power's on. What was that noise? A door just opened. There's another exalted inside. Not red like the others. Looks dormant. But maybe I can wake it. Well, carry on then. You know what you're doing. No, I don't. Give me one second, I'll be right back. So I have the staff equipped. <laughs> this, is, this is probably a horrible idea. Also, it seems like the wind has calmed down a little bit. 
So sorry if you could hear that earlier. Hello. No. Did Balthazar send you? No. A Joko? I will defend this sacred ground with my life. Wait. I'm a friend. Yeah. We don't like Balthazar either. The commander's on a mission to stop him. Frost is the only clue we've got. What have you done? The pedestals are reviving the forged. The glowy red ones are forged? <laughs> Good thing he didn't poke them. You claim to owe Balthazar no allegiance. Prove yourself. Destroy his creations. Okay. Oh, is he going to help me? Cool. Hey there, bud. Just smack him around a little bit. So this one hits people multiple times. This one strikes enemy in front of you, and then you roll backwards. And then this one, you sweep the ground, blinding enemies in front of you. Which is that. Now, I don't know why I can't use number five. Is it something in my skills? Because I seem to be beating up on... The, and the wind's starting up again. It, it knows when I'm recording. The wind's starting up again. Unhindered combat. What is this? Vault. Is unique per game mode. What does that mean? Combo finisher. Oh, I can use it now. Does it deal damage? It Oh yeah, it most certainly does. I feel like you have a lot more freedom with this mode. With this weapon. Look at all that damage I'm dealing. Getting Ask Exalted about Kesha. Well, tell me. Balthazar is the reason I'm here. He's working to kill Kralkatorik. And we're trying to stop him. I wish you'd come sooner. Balthazar was here recently with that wretched lich, Joko. Apparently, I'm the chosen champion and protector of Glint's second scion, Orin. Mm -hmm. If you've been entrusted with the role of the scion's protector, then it would be my honor to assist you. I am Sadazi. Welcome to Kesho. What you see is what's left of the Forgotten's first attempt to pacify the Elder Dragons. It failed. This site was abandoned, but a few of us remained as its caretakers. Uh huh. Why were Balthazar and Joko here? They came seeking the forgotten magics that imbue battle armor with living spirits, the same that created the Exalted. They quickly discovered they could use those magics to create these abominations, the horrors they call forged. The Red Exalted you fought were the results of their early experiments on us. Left behind as mindless sentries. To attack the whatever chaos, they see. I sealed myself in that chamber to avoid the fate of the others. I guess it's smart that you that did that. Smart. Yeah. Now you can help us make sure Balthazar doesn't succeed. Balthazar thought he destroyed the information you seek. But the sentries he left behind were actually protecting it. What do you mean? The pedestal! Your invisible friend is correct. <laughs> I can reveal the secrets contained in any pedestal you choose. Ah. Lint was the key. She, she was perfect for our purposes. The scion of an elder dragon and a crystal dragon herself with a mind of her own. We, we did our work well. The Glint actively rejected Krakatoric, and she brought forth more scions to join our cause. That was Josso Escher, one of the Legacy's main architects. Sadly, he was lost in the attempt to convert Krakatoric. Wait, convert Krakatoric? You thought they were going to yes. fix him? The Forgotten dared to try. But the hunger of Elder Dragons is too strong. It proved a tragic failure. <sighs> More of your questions can be answered by consulting the other pedestals. Hmm. Okay. Quickly. 
Come on, bud. Oh, wow, he is slow. I'll just make sure I'm standing right here so he walks right over it. In the meantime... The most important lesson an exalted must learn is... Although Elder Dragons are unimaginably powerful, they, they can be killed. Each has a distinct flaw. Mordromoth, for example, dominates thought. But, it, but its most powerful asset, its mind, is also its greatest liability. Krauka Torek's unique strength, its power to crystallize objects, is also its singular weakness. It its mm. creation share a fundamental resonance that connects them back to the crystal dragon and makes them vulnerable to each other. A fundamental resonance that makes them vulnerable. Whoa, so that's why Balthazar was after Vlast. <sighs> he needed a scion of glint to kill Kralkatorik. But Vlast's gone now, so that means... He's gonna go after Aurene. Wait, there's one thing I don't understand. If Glint and the Forgotten knew what killing an Elder Dragon would do to Tyria, why would they rear Vlast and Aurene? The Was that the purpose? That door. If you're done with the pedestals, we can proceed. No, no, let's keep going. Come on. Is supposed to be my home. Oh, that's Vlast. It's more of a cage. Or a tomb. I prefer the open sky. I feel trapped here. This place reminds me that I cannot act. No matter how eager I am. Not until the full legacy is ready. That's Blast. Mm -hmm. We encouraged him to record his thoughts for reference and posterity. He didn't contribute often, and was never glad to do it. I believe it. He sounds super frustrated and restless. Like a genius progeny suffering through intro <laughs> and That's where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. The next one, we'll get the, uh, the last pedestal. Actually, how many more pedestals are there? Two more. And then we'll go... We'll go over into, into the, I guess really into the city. I don't think we're technically in the city yet. Uh, but yeah, we're going to mess around with the staff for a little while. And see how awfully it goes. <laughs> so, Kukumuru, thanks you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.